Today on Gospel and Spade, we are going to examine the Tel Dan Gate, which is located at the biblical site of Dan in northern Israel. This Bronze Age gate was discovered in 1980 by Abraham Byron at the northern end of the ancient Canaanite city of Laish, which was later renamed to Dan by the Israelite tribe of the self same name who conquered the region during the times of the Judges. This mud brick structure, which was also originally plastered in white, was part of a series of defensive measures intended to protect the Canaanite city of Laish. This arched gateway was 12 feet high and 17 feet wide, and was flanked by two defensive towers. This amazingly preserved structure, which was at some point buried for unknown reasons, has been dated to being about 4,000 years old. The Canaanites' use of the arch in building long before the times of the Romans, who are often wrongly credited with its creation, shows the sophistication and prosperity of both this city and the Canaanite civilization at that time. In relation to the Bible, this gate could well have been in use during the times of the biblical patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. In fact, the book of Genesis chapter 14 verse 14 states that Abraham gave chase to an army that was returning to Mesopotamia so that he could rescue his nephew Lot who had been captured earlier by this army. The Bible tells us that Abraham overtook this force near Dan and defeated it there, thus rescuing Lot. It is therefore possible that Abraham may well have entered the city either before or after his victory and could have used this very same gate to access the city. The very fact that the city existed and was important during the times of the patriarchs also helps to indirectly confirm the historicity of the patriarchal account found in Genesis that Dan was indeed a notable settlement at that time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.